Hello, this is Morticia, and we are doing another chat log. Welcome to the Chronicles. And today, we are doing Corey Edgar. As you all know, that is Rick's talented tongue. He was just going fishing. We are... Well, I am. I guess it's a, it's a solo project. Y'all aren't doing this with me. But I am going through the backlog of Naboo's videos and recording the chat logs for the Predators that she has already done before we started doing Morticia's Chat Log Chronicles. So today, I chose uh, one of my favorites to make fun of. Uh, an absolute monster that makes me laugh. We are doing Corey Edgar, obviously. And so let's get into it. First of all, I have to apologize for my Corey Edgar voice. I'm going to try to tone it down, but every single time I try to do his stupid nasally Midwestern thing, it goes, for some reason, like Brooklyn. I don't know what's going on there. So I'm going to do kind of a, a <laughs> watered down version of him. So that you don't have to be annoyed by my horrifying attempts to do a Minnesota accent. Oh, I mean, I don't know if he's from Minnesota. I just, that's what I usually use as a, as a, a baseline to try to get that Midwestern twang is, is the Minnesota accent. I am clearly not Midwestern, so it's not, it doesn't come naturally to me. I'm not, I'm not great at accents. Unless it's Russian. If we get a Russian predator, y'all, I got you. So, let's get into it. This bust was by Pib, who is usually an excellent uh, decoy. I read a lot of these chat logs, so I've gotten to know them rather intimately. Pib does pretty well. Uh, so his name's Corey, obviously Corey Edgar. He is 32. And the initial decoy note before the chat log even starts is, Meet Corey. He was vile. He was also a little angry. Which is an understatement. He's just a combative, this whole thing. Which is wild. But without further ado, let's get right into the chat log. We kick it off. Uh, September 8th, 2000. 2000? What's going on with my voice, y'all? 2006, 5.05 p.m. Rick's talented tongue. Let's hear the start and stop of me trying to do this voice, okay? Hello, how are you doing? Can I tease and please your pussy with my tongue and make you come over and over? That's not too bad, right? <laughs> R-O-F-L. You won't be disappointed. A-S-L. 28, male, Anaheim. Again, he is 32. Will these men please stop lying about their ages? What is the difference? She says she's 12. What is the difference to a 12-year-old between a 28-year-old and a 32-year-old? They might as well both be 65. Anyways. Oh, I'm 12. F. Bye, L.A. Okay, bye. Well, now you don't wanna? I never knew a young female like yourself would like that. Why not? What's your name and number, then? <laughs> Serious? Yes, what is it? <laughs> What's yours? Sorry, I'm not gonna play games. I didn't think you were serious. Goodbye. You're the one who's not. Um, you're probably ugly anyways. Whatever. I'll call you right now. I'm Cheyenne. I told you I would call you. Obviously, you are just a fake ass. I am not. I just don't know if you're serious. I'll give you my number if you're really gonna drive here. Yes. Name and number. Cheyenne. Edited. Okay, what city is that? Long Beach. Are you going to call or not? Yes, why? What do you mean why? Like, he's been like, I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you. She's like, why are you going to call? He's like, why would you even ask that? And I, everything, everything Corey Edgar does annoys the living shit out of me. So I'm sorry if there is excessive commentary in this one. I hope you all came for the commentary, because otherwise, this will be hell for you. Yes, why? I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, I'm getting my phone. Okay. 
Did you hang up? No, you did. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I think I lost the call. Are you going to call back? The only way I will call back is if you tell me on the phone what you would like to do. <laughs> okay. Do you have any more pics of yourself? Yeah. May I see them, please? I can't see them. Can you send them as a file? OMG, why can't you? Jeez. Because they are black. Let me cancel and you can retry or send a different way. Cute pick. Nice. Thanks. Very cute. Thank you very much. Show me yours now. So why are you into older guys? Because they're hot. Why are you into girls? <laughs> I have never done this with a female under 18, and I am kind of afraid to. Well, yeah, you fucking should be. Just stop. Find another woman. Well, find a woman. This is a child. Find a woman. She's 12. She's fucking 12, Corey. Christ alive. Anyways, gross. I don't know why, but for some reason there is, like, a huge gulf for me between, like, 12 and 14. And, like, it's really, really upsetting and gross and all of the horrible adjectives when they're 14. But for some reason, when they're 12, it just, I get so fucked up about it. Like, it's like an extra layer of rage for me. Um, yeah. So, he said, I've never done anything with a female under 18. Kind of afraid to. Oh my god, whatever. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, be afraid then and have a hella lame life. You're the one who messaged me. I never knew or heard of a female your age that loves to have a guy lick her pussy. Oh, God. That was a horrible thing to say in that voice. I never tried it, but I want to. My friend said it's totally awesome. So now you don't wanna, huh? Lame. I'm calling. You're not answering. I left my phone in the bathroom. Hang on. I'll go get it. BRB. Okay. You're so funny. Okay, what is your address and home phone number in case I get lost and can't get a hold of you on your cell phone? Edited. City zip and home phone number? Long Beach, 90808. Just call my cell. I will, but I want your home number in case our cell's cut out or something. Just for backup, that's all. Edited. When are you coming over? You prefer right now or in a half hour or so? Right now? <laughs> How long will it take you to get here? Depending on traffic, maybe a half hour. Cool. Is your pussy smooth and shaven for me to give it French kisses? Who the fuck says that? What kind of adult goddamn man says, Is your pussy smooth and shaven for me to give it French kisses? What the living fuck? If a man said that to- Oh my god, I would roast him so hard he would die like a fire-breathing dragon. Gross. Anyways. Um, no. Is that bad? Not at all. Is it trimmed? Yeah, but I don't have, like, a lot of hair. Okay, yummy. Ew, ew, ew. That's another trigger for me. Yummy. Ugh. Have you ever had sex before? No. Oh my god, never? I'm kind of scared, too. I almost did one time, but my friend says it hurt her real bad, so... Is that okay? Yes. What is your last name, Cheyenne? Are you Indian? <laughs> Indian? Because of Cheyenne? It's not spelled like that. It's spelled like S-H-Y-A-N-N-E. Like Cheyenne. And are you Indian? What the fuck? No, I'm half Japanese. My last name is Kennedy. Are you coming over or what? Yes, I am getting ready as I am chatting with you. Damn, your pussy must be really hot and wet for some attention. <laughs> R-O-F-L, hurry up. I can tell you right now that I will only be able to lick your pussy and not have sex with you. My cock is too big for your pussy, and since it would be your first time, it would hurt you. I fucking doubt I fucking doubt. Corey Edgar does not have big dick energy. Okay. Wanna see a pic of my cack? 
back. <laughs> K. Be right back. Which I assume means he has to go find a picture on the internet of a really big dick and send it to her. Because, eh. Oh my god, wow. Come over, hurry up. When are you going to get here? A bajillion question marks. Um, where are you? I'm so sorry, baby. My comp froze up and I had to restart. I am leaving in a few minutes. Okay, smiley face. Did you see the pic of my cack? <laughs> cack. Yeah. What did you think? It's big. You wouldn't want to feel it inside you. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> he was clearly wanting to think, why? So he's like, oh, because it's so big. <laughs> She's just, okay. <laughs> you don't have a cam? Yeah, but it's so messed up. I can try to do it if you want. It'll probably make me crash. Let me see you really quick on cam, please. Okay, hang on. Are you there? Yes. Oh my god, it's making me so mad. Did you add me? It's all messed up. Yes. Can I see? I keep trying to do it. Hang on. Let me reboot. Okay. You still there? I'm back again. Okay. Can you see me? Hi. Very nice. Can I ask you for a favor so I know how serious you really are, baby? <sighs> like what? Well, I showed you a pic of my cack, so you know how serious I am. Can you show me something on your cam before I head out the door and drive over? Not your pussy. Your nipple. No way! You're just messing with me, so forget it. Do you have a condom? For Okay, number one, he said, we can't have sex. So why would they need a condom, number one? And number two, why would a 12-year-old who has never had sex randomly have a fucking condom? And since his dick is so big, how could he even be sure that she had the right size condom if she did? It's just a stupid question. I hate it. No, duh. Why? Should I stop and pick one up? Um, yeah, I guess, but is it gonna hurt me? If I eat your pussy out until you reach orgasm and get you really wet, then it shouldn't hurt. It's not true. Breaking the hymen hurts. It just does. I mean, it hurts different people, different amounts. People deal with pain differently. But no matter what, you are you are tearing through some skin. It is going to hurt a little bit. So, no, that's not actually how it works, Corey. But I don't know, man. Good plan, I guess. Unless you rather do 69 at the same time, you suck my cock while I eat your pussy out instead of feeling my cock inside you? I'll try. I'm getting ready to leave now. Is your pussy soaking wet and hot for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hurry up. I'm leaving now. Okay, how long will it take? About 30 to 35 minutes, depending on traffic. Cool. Are you going to call on your way or just come here? Just come there. Will you be naked lying down and ready for me to... <laughs> ready for my tongue to lick your pussy? What? Why would, why, why would she be doing that? Especially because if you've watched his segment when he gets to the house and he gets real cagey about going inside. Like, how would she just be laying down? Would he just just done that weird revolving door thing with her laying up in her bedroom like, just come upstairs? Anyways. <laughs> oh my god, how are, are you serious? How am I going to answer the door if I am? You're the only one home. Answer the door naked and then I will carry you to your bed and lick your pussy. Um, well, what's your car look like? When I see it, I'll do that so I don't answer the door for someone else all naked. It's a blue car. It really narrows it down. Thanks, bud. Okay, hurry up. Okay, what's the hurry? You have until 11. Whatever. Your pussy must be very excited. LOL. I'm leaving now. Huh. Okay, bye. What the heck? Are you kidding me? You're not going to add me? I forgot the directions. LOL. Now I am leaving again. 
I have already added you. No, you don't. You told me no. Whatever. Are you coming over or not? I am trying to walk out the door to come over and you keep messaging me, silly. Okay. I cannot add you because my security will not let me add someone who is under 18. In order for me to add you, then you have to change your age in your profile. It says 102. You must not have an adult profile then. Did you make it an adult profile? Because my system will not allow me to add you unless you have an adult profile. I don't, I don't think that's a thing. I was on Yahoo Messenger back in the day. I'm pretty sure there was not a difference between adult profiles and child profiles, but I could be wrong. I don't remember, but if it says her age is 102, then yeah, it's an adult profile. Okay, don't add me then. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Kisses. Okay, bye. And then like an hour later, an, an eyebrow raised emoji. What the fuck? You're, and then three hours after that. You're such a stupid liar. I knew you were. And then two days later, I went to that address you gave me off Bellflower and there was no one there. Liar. I swear I did. I live on... Edited. And you didn't come here. You're a liar. I did. No, you didn't. I've been here. Why do you think I'm going to believe you when I know I was here? And he made up a, a random house number that they edited out for some reason. No, what the fuck? You're such a... You're such a retarded liar. It's... Edited. Well, how did I write down 6328 then? Okay, what is your address and home number in case I get lost and didn't get a hold of you on your cell? Oh, sorry, this is this is copied. She sent the, the copy of the correct address and then said, Because you're lying. I swear to God, I will come there in the morning if you don't believe me. Then you're just a retard. <laughs> okay, come over tomorrow at one then. Why one? If you're not, I know I'll know you're just a liar. Because I said one. What's wrong with having my tongue tease your pussy in the morning and waking you up? I'm busy in the morning. You're just playing with me. You won't come here anyway. Yes, I will. Then come here at one. I won't be back till like 1230 at least. Who will be there at one? No one, because you're not gonna. I'll be here by myself and I'll know you're a liar like I don't already. I promise I will. Will you be alone and for how long? Yeah, I'll be alone. How long what? Will you be alone for? Till like six. I don't know. Why? Why not early like nine or so? I already told you I'm not going to be here. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? I know, just asking why. It's cool. You didn't come here. You would have called. You had both my numbers. What the fuck? You, oh, I know you wrote those wrong too, right? Let me make sure I get the address correct this time. Give me your entire address and cell number. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? I have them written down at my work. I am home now, silly. Haha, <laughs> you just busted yourself for lying. You made up a number just a minute ago, but you don't have it. A number is easy to remember if it is correct. You're not coming. I'm not that dumb. You're just lying. I have no idea why. That makes no sense. I will come. And it's spelled C-U-M. Because, you know, dick stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Tell the truth. You didn't come here yesterday. I did, but I am a moron and I went to the wrong house. Tell the truth. Yes. No, tell me the truth. You didn't come. You made up having the wrong house. You made up that number. I don't know why you want to lie, but you are, and I know it, so tell the truth. <clears throat> Fine. I was heading to your place and got stuck in traffic because of a major wreck. I did not call because I thought you would be pissed at me. That is the truth. Now, if you want me to move on, I will. I knew it. So are you going to come over tomorrow, or are you still lying, or what? I knew traffic would have been bad on Friday at rush hour. So are you or not? Yes, I am, as long as you can do me one thing. What? 
I want you to swear to God to me that you are not an undercover cop or someone trying to set me up. Oh my God, I am not a cop or someone setting you up. I swear to God. I have your address and cell number at work. Can you give all that again? Fine. Do you swear to God you're going to come over at one? Yes. Yes what? What freeway are you off of? 405 and 91, Bellflower exit off 91. So I take 91 west to the 405 south and exit what? No. Bellflower. It's by the 605. It's not that hard. Duh. I don't even drive and I know the way. I take the 91 west and then, then what? Bellflower exit. I said it already. I'm going to bed. Are you coming tomorrow or not? Okay, hold on. 91 west exit Bellflower and then what? Edited. It's easy. Make a map. Duh. Left on Bellflower and then... Edited. Yeah. Okay, that is not Long Beach, is it? Yeah, it is. East Long Beach. Okay. So I don't get on any freeway but the 91 coming from Knott's Berry Farm area? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? I am going to bed. I have to get up in the morning. I wish I can wake you up at 7 a.m. with my tongue licking your pussy and then giving you a shower. No. Do not come over at that time. I won't answer. Well, what do you have to do tomorrow morning? Why? Well, just curious. None of your business anyway. Give me your cell number. I'm calling you if you're not here at one. You have a major attitude. Good night. Oh my God, you lied to me and I'm bad? You ass. I told you I was sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I knew you were full of it. And I had a good reason. Yeah, but you have my Addy and you don't want to give me your number? You're so fake. I am not fake. Are you coming over? Why is it so hard to be friendly and tell me what you're doing tomorrow morning? Church, okay? I gotta go to church. Okay, cool. That was easy. You going with your parents? No, my friend and her mom. Cool. I gotta go to bed, okay? Cool. Are you coming over? Kisses, honey. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. No number? Fine. Whatever. I got it. I want yours. Okay, see you tomorrow, maybe, if you really come over. Just be ready to answer my call tomorrow. What time? 12.30. Okay, bye. Bye. And then, about nine hours later, than like, next morning at, like, 11.45. Do you think I am a really sick creep? Yeah, bud. Yeah, I do. Trying to, trying to assault a 12-year-old. Yeah, it's pretty fucking gross. I hope I got your hopes up and that you learned a lesson. I would never meet a female under 18 to do anything sexual. I am reporting you to Yahoo. Please leave me alone. <laughs> the iconic line. You're such a liar. You're such a fake liar. I knew you were lying the whole time. Your profile says other people are liars, but you're a liar. You're a bad person playing games with people online. You're disgusting and horrible. You are trying to set older guys up to get them busted, and I don't appreciate that. I appreciate it, Rick. I actually quite love it. I think it's a great idea. I think it's it's amazing. And you should probably stop trying to fuck kids. It'd be super easy to not get caught if you just stop talking to children. Oh my god, you're insane. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're just a fake liar who cares what you think anyway, freak. I'm not a fake liar. Who cares what you think anyway? Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take two. I'm not a fake liar. I don't like to be arrested and put in jail. Why are you saying that? Because I have a strong feeling you are either an undercover or a cop trying to set older guys up. You hear about it all the time. You're insane. 
You don't say what you want. You have specific times. There are so many reasons why I think you are. Which is crazy, because he did see her on webcam. Like, usually that would just absolutely convince most of the predators that, of chat logs that I've read. Because, like, that that's the one thing they always want, is to see them on cam. But they put the decoy on the cam, he still doesn't fucking believe her. Like, he is so suspicious, but he still shows up, which is so whack. You're that scared? Stay home. Like, I mean, ignoring the whole don't fuck kids thing, stay home. It's not that hard. Anyways. <gasps> oh my god, you're crazy. I told you I wanted to do oral. I had to go to church. You're so stupid and fake. I don't care what you think anyways. You're the liar, not me. Lying asshole. I am supposed to just come over and trust that you are not a cop or an undercover. I told you. I'm not even. What is that? I told you I'm not you even. Punctuation would really help me out, guys. I told you I'm not. You even made me swear to God. I don't even care what you think. You're just a fake liar freak. As soon as I get there, you will have a cop in another room waiting for us to play. Oh my God, that is the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Or I will pull up to your house and they will arrest me before I even get to the door. <laughs> You're insane. Call a doctor. You need help. Are you alone right now? Or if, and if so, for how long? Yeah, till like seven. I don't know why you care. I don't even want to meet you now. You're so crazy. You sound like a killer or something. No, I'm not. I'm just being careful. What's your cell number and your street number again? I can't find it. This fucking idiot. How many times someone go through and count how many fucking times she's giving him her number? It's so many times. Write it down, Corey. You're not careful. You're insane. You say the lamest shit I ever heard. Oh my god, you're not coming over, so why do you keep making me type it? Cell number and street number? <laughs> LMAO. Edited. Edited. That's the end. The rest of it was done over the phone. And he... I can't... I, I just cannot believe that that is the way that this chat log ends. With him saying, I think you're an undercover cop. You're obviously an undercover cop. I'm not coming over there. You're insane. I'm not doing this. And then he shows up anyway. What the fuck? What the fuck kind of horniness is that? I do not understand. Okay. And now we're going to do what we always do and read the conviction. As you know, Corey was... Sorry, I'm putting my hand over my face while I'm talking. It's so stupid. Corey was part of the Long Beach, so he probably got a Long Beach special, but let's see. Yep, he got the Long Beach special. Okay, I'm going to read the conviction. Conv Excellent work, Morticia. Conviction. Paranoia versus obsession. Obsession wins almost every time. Corey Egger was paranoid, but he was also obsessed. As his paranoia warned him, he could be arrested. However, his obsession... With, with it, I'm doing it again. I'm not doing well today. Was with getting a young girl to use his talented tongue on. At the end of the day, obsession won over, out over paranoia. Edgar was arrested and charged with a felony. I'm going to read the next paragraph in my best robot voice. Just as a special treat for you. He would later plead guilty to that felony and would receive the Long Beach special term we use to sarcastically denote the sentences for the Long Beach predators arrested. He received three years probation, 60 days Caltrans, <laughs> Caltrans cleaning up the roads, time served, and a lifetime of sexual offender registration and all the restrictions that come along with that. You're welcome. I know you enjoyed that. I mean, lifetime RSO status is, eh, all right, I'm glad he doesn't, like, fall off the sexual offender registration. I'm glad that that keeps going. But not getting jail time really, really fucks me up. And only three years of probation, like, I think it should have been. I mean, he's not the most aggressive of predators, so I don't think he needs, like, you know, 20 to life or anything like that. 
But I think he should have done some time in jail. I really do. I think all of them should. Because I think that all predators are dangerous. Even if, you know, with the with the idea of bald beaver hunter, you know, I didn't think it was that bad on Oral. Even though he wasn't, like, Lauren Hayden, you know, a really scary, gross predator. He's, he's your, your bog standard predator. He would have been totally unnoteworthy if he didn't have that stupid voice and he didn't fucking slam his stupid ass sunglasses. Who fuck, who the fuck wears those sunglasses? Honestly. But if he didn't slam those stupid fucking sunglasses down over his stupid meat face and slurp on that punch like a fucking dickhead and not leave the house, we wouldn't, we, no one would remember Corey Edgar. He's nothing special. And I hope, honestly, I hope he listens to this at some point. Corey, you are nothing special at all. Is he dead? Did he die? Is he one of the dead ones? Fuck. Should have looked that up first, shouldn't I? For some reason, I feel like he died. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Last bit. We're almost done, y'all. Notes from the contributor, Pib. Corey Edgar was a special kind of bust. First of all, get a load of that screen name. Just who does he think he's going to attract with that? He started by IMing me with one of the nastiest opening lines I've ever seen. He also IMed two other perverted justice decoys, one of them all the way back in January. He even played a few interesting games through the chat during the chat, like trying to make me forget my profile, change my profile to adult, telling me not to contact him again, even though he never put me on ignore. He convinced himself it was a setup, but then he showed up anyway. He stood outside the house for quite a while debating with himself and our underage looking decoy about coming in, and finally he did. He got very upset that it was, in fact, a setup. In the end, Corey got exactly what he deserved, a trip to booking and interrogation courtesy of our friends at the Long Beach PD. While I am once again a bit disappointed in the sentence received in Long Beach, I am pleased with the lifetime sex offender registration with which Corey must now comply. I doubt he's ever going to attempt to solicit another minor for sex. Thanks to the Dateline crew and the LBPD. What a great bunch of people to work with. Okay. That is the end of the chat log, and at this point, all we have are some small housekeeping things. I'm going to be doing more chat logs for the Predators already covered. We're going to be doing Marvin Lacan, uh, Malik Washington. I can't remember if... What's his name? Oh my god, Abolash. I can't remember if his is online or not. We might be doing him. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover the Predators we've already done. We're going to do Vincent, Am- Vincent Ambrosio. Um, I have that all done. So we, I did Marvin Harrison. I don't know if that'll be out before this one or not. So we have a lot coming out. Please join our Discord. If you want to join our Discord, just leave an emoji in the comments. Uh, ooh, leave a penguin emoji in the comments if you got this far and you want to join our Discord. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a very, it's a very goofy community. And there are pictures of stuffed penguins and uh, me with a sword in there. If that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. So, yeah, come on down to the Discord, hang out with us, and look out for more chat logs in the future. Love you all. This is Morticia, the Death God, signing out.